Dawson Reynolds. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with our next bit of Power Rangers news from the Hasbro Fan Fest today. This is Lightning Collection news, which honestly I think overall was a little bit lackluster in terms of what was shown. Not lackluster in that we're owed more because fans are on everything, but it was just, you know, a little bit boring. Um, but there's still some cool stuff. Let's talk about the coolest thing right off the bat instead of making you wait for it. Wait for it! So the Red Ranger Sentry, at least what I think was the coolest thing, because I know there's lots of people that are not looking forward to, I know this bothers me too guys, this bothers me too. I'm gonna be, speaking of bothered, be bothered by um, more MMPR stuff, but personally, as much as I hate MMPR stuff, um, I am looking forward to every MMPR comics related thing that's a new design, so I've been really looking forward to the Sentries. Uh, Red Ranger makes sense to start there. It's going to be a Target exclusive. Um, I'm not sure exactly when this video is going up today, but it's going up for pre-order on Target.com tonight at 5, like, Eastern Time or whatever. Um, but I'm going to imagine it'll be in stores too, uh, so don't worry too much about that, especially since it's something you might want to army build. Uh, just kind of be patient. Remember what Obi-Wan said? Patience! Uh, so I'm excited for that, personally. I'm actually really excited for that. I'm excited to get more comic stuff and I'm excited maybe even army build with this and excited for the potential for more ranger sentries in the future. Um, off of that before we get to the other physical reveals they did talk about how they're going to be lo doing lots of Power Rangers related things in August. It's going to be like the month of PR leading up to, to PR day. Lord beer me strength. And there's going to be lots of like um, you know, tie-ins with retailers, like Walmart's gonna do something, GameStop's gonna do something, Amazon and Target are gonna do something, so I imagine, like, I think Walmart, they said they're gonna do, like, retro figures and stuff, so, and I'll imagine there'll be some more lightning reveals. I wouldn't be, uh, surprised if, like, different retailers had different centuries, like, maybe, like, Walmart gets the Black Ranger century or something, and GameStop gets Pink Ranger or something, I don't know, that's just speculation, but, Bottom line is, is they're going to be doing a big celebration for Power Rangers Day, kind of making it Power Rangers Month. Kind of like when Trina had birth month, or birth week, or whatever, on Victorious, but for Power Rangers. So there's going to be more little things happening um, during that month, and I'm sure we'll get some, some more reveals and stuff like that. But the other things they physically showed was just the rest of the metallic armor figures, except for Tommy. You know, we got metallic pink, which was an exclusive a few months back, and they showed yellow, which is Aisha, um, black, which is Adam, Bill, which is Bluey, <laughs> blue, which is Billy, um, what's the other one? I forgot, I got so distracted. Oh yeah, and then Rocky, looking good, Rocky. And you know, their, their head sculpts look all fine, but I think the most important thing here is when we're looking at metallic red and we're looking at the red sentry, they done fixed the helmet. Finally, after all these years, the helmet is free and it looks good. Um, you know, that's one of the, I think, worst lightning collection helmets is the regular red. It just looks so off. There's some that are like slightly off, but that one's just off. And the, uh, the flippable head one and the nutcracker figure and the basic uh, five inch figure for the dino team up all looked better. So it's nice that that's fixed. So I imagine if you wanted to, you could probably pick up an extra sentry and swap out its head. But I'm also fairly certain, again, this is just speculation, but I feel like there's going to be an MMPR red 2.0 release somewhere down the road that I think they could pretty easily do. But regardless, I'm glad they're fixing it. Again, everyone I feel is so uh, harsh on the Lightning Collection, they put it under such a microscope, and I'm not saying they're perfect and they're not beyond criticism, because I criticize them all the time, but I really do feel like they're listening to stuff and always trying to fix things, um, and thus far, some of the most major complaints I've had have been fixed, which is Red Ranger's helmet now and the, uh, the helmet paint on White Dragon Ranger, so yeah, that's cool. I like that. Um, the metallic figures are already up for pre-order as well. You know, I do like the metallic figures. I like the idea of having that set, but that's just not the most exciting thing because it's just like repaints, but I am excited by the century. Like I said, we're only missing Tommy. I think it would be cool if they did Tommy and Master Vile 2-pack because it was called Master Vile and the Metal the Metallic Armor. I can talk in this one, guys. But what are you guys excited about most of these reveals? What are you looking forward to for some potential future announcements for the Power Rangers month? thing. Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb steps and ring that bell so you can join my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.